oh my gosh, guess what day it is today? I mean, like you already know because it's it's the day that this video is going up, but it's one month till Christmas. And I got so excited, in fact, that I painted my nails gold, I wore red, and then entirely forgot to put up all my Christmas decorations. Oh, I'm so mad. Hey guys. Try that again. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Today, I thought it was fitting because it is, again, one month till Christmas. Even saying it makes me excited. And I thought we would do another round of a video that I did last year and I had a lot of fun putting together and that is sort of like an Amazon gift guide, if you will. And these are all items that are absolutely incredible that I swear by that I've been using constantly the entire year. I will put a link down below to my 2020 gift guide as well so you can go and check out those products products because there are tons more where that came from and I will also create a list down below but also on my like Amazon like lists page of all of the ones from 2021 so you can go and check those out again these are all like affiliate links these are products that I receive a small commission on if you choose to buy through those particular links I really appreciate it but either way I hope you find this video to be super helpful give it a thumbs up if you do and now let's dive into the beauty products that is what we're going to be doing first and then we're gonna go into more like everyday stuff for me that isn't necessarily necessarily beauty, not really getting into any like the kitchen like gadgetsy kind of thing, but if you want to see that, let me know for Rachel's life. But I figured since we're here before we go like running through my house, which is very messy, so I apologize in advance. We'll start with the beauty related products. So the first one I want to talk about is this scrub. It's by Kopari, I believe is how it's pronounced. It is their Coconut Crush Scrub. This is a brown sugar scrub. It look, <laughs> look how much I've used of it. I'm almost at, do you call it hitting pan when it's like shower products? I don't know. But regardless, I've used a ton of it and it smells like like brown sugar rich and coconutty. And this scrub, if you deal with dry skin like I do and nothing seems to touch it, you love a good scrub, but you always end up feeling really dry and parched after a shower, this will be your best friend. I use this product in particular on like my legs as an example, cause they get really, really dry during the winter time, but I'm not always like putting on self tanner on my legs. So I want them to be hydrated and nice and smooth and silky soft, but I don't necessarily want to be like self tanning my entire body because I'm lazy. That's right. It's just, just my arms. <laughs> so I will use this product on either on days where I'm not going to be self tanning after or on just like the parts of my body that I'm not self tanning. And this leaves this really silky soft, like hydrated feel to the skin. I want to say it's oily, but it's not oily. It's like buttery smooth and soft. I don't feel like I need to apply more product to my skin out of the shower to like keep it nice and moisturized. This on its own after it's been washed off is enough. Just it moisturize your skin whilst also exfoliating. And so it doesn't, you don't have to like put anything on after. It's so good. I am obsessed with it and I'm mad because I was originally gonna talk about it in my Sephora kind of must haves for the sale. Although, you know, it's got some great options for Christmas too, but they don't sell this at Sephora, but it is on Amazon, so. Go check it out. The other skincare product that I love for my hands, this one is by L'Occitane. This is their uh, Youth Hand Cream Serum in Cream. And this one I've been using on my hands in particular um, during the winter time because my, again, my hands, I have eczema, they get really dry and patchy. It's just not, not a great thing. And I've tried a ton of different hand creams and this, I don't know what it is that's in this, but I notice that my, I notice that my skin looks smoother. My skin looks like a child's skin. Apparently it has ingredients in it, hence the name, like a youth cream that is going to help to reduce the visible signs of aging. This is again, why you always wear SPF on your hands. Always wear SPF on your hands. But this cream smells so luxurious. It feels incredible. And I feel like this would be a great product to add to anyone's like gift bag or a stocking stuffer or anything like that. Like it's so nice highly recommend this. Then switching gears a little bit to talk more like accessory items that I feel like I have consistently been reaching for. One is like a gold jaw clip. I, like this brings me back to, <laughs> I don't know, high school. Pretty sure I wore these a lot, but there are so many really pretty ones on Amazon that you can use. And it's just such a fun and pretty easy way. I have a ponytail in my 2020. <laughs> 
It's just such an easy way to either like twist up your hair and then do a little jaw clip moment and it's got this like nice gold delicate detail or I'll do like a half up half down pull out some of the tendrils in the front and it's really pretty again it's there's so many of them and they're so beautiful I really like them and then the other one are these like silk scrunchies there are a ton of different ones I'll link the ones that I really like but they're not super thick they feel really good I will wear them sometimes if I need to like toss my hair back when I'm going to sleep and I just don't feel like I'm getting, you know, that bend, that crease in my hair. They're super silky soft. You can even like pop it over top of your ponytail and I think that's really cute too. They have a ton of different colors, a ton, ton of different like size options and I think this is like a really cute little piece that you could put with like a self-care kind of a kit for someone with like a face mask and cute scrunchies and like fun slippers, just like a nice like well-rounded like take care of yourself treat yourself you know throw some snacks in. nobody's gonna say no to snacks I mean technically you can get those off Amazon too <laughs> and then next up I want to talk jewelry because I feel like this year in particular I have bought a ton of jewelry off of Amazon one example right here these like little crawlers I have been wearing a ton of and I have they came in like a set of I don't know maybe six or seven different ones that are these like nice delicate gold they also have silver ones as well but they have a ton of really pretty options i love an ear crawler also like a pretty cuff for like the top i just i love that look and for me personally i don't find that these irritate my skin excessively over the course of the day or anything like that are they gold plated and like super high quality no but they're really pretty and i haven't noticed any significant like ah don't don't do it kind of moments from these so i i really like them and of course Speaking of jewelry, we cannot forget, I think that it's Pav Pavoy, I think is the name of the brand, but these little hoops. You've probably seen them in almost every single one of my videos. And these I feel like are very good quality. They don't irritate my ears at all. Um, I'm not an expert on this. Maybe they're the exact same, but I don't have any sort of reaction from these. They have been viral all over the internet, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, a ton of people. That's, I think, initially why I bought them. And I, I live in them, I live in these earrings. And then of course, I wanna talk about my absolute favorite, like hands down, number one, best ever, eyelashes that I have ever purchased. You need to like run, do not walk to get these. And they are the Falscara Lifting Wisps. Lifting Wisps is number three. These ones right here are my absolute favorite. I didn't even take these out of the package. I'm actually wearing, they have like um like a little set, what do they call this? Petite Volume Wisps. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and kind of pick and choose, short, medium, long. You can kind of put your, together your own set. But these ones look insane on the lashes. I don't wear any mascara on at all. They last all day. They even have like an overnight bond that you can get and your lashes do not come off overnight. It's insane. I am obsessed with these. You can get them obviously from other places as well. Targets, Walmarts, all those kinds of things will sell these, but you can also get them on Amazon. So um, go stock up before I buy them all. Don't try me because I am I literally will. I will buy all of them. And now I want to talk about a makeup bag that I am obsessed with. Anytime I travel anywhere, I always use this bag. Got it off Amazon a couple of years ago. And because we haven't been doing travel uh, in the last year or so, I never really thought to mention it, but like, it's such a good bag that I feel like like now, now is our time to talk about it. It is this one right here. It comes in a ton of different colors. This is just the one I bought and it is like a drawstring up at the top, but it's nice and open in the middle like this. So I use it a lot for skincare items in particular and I will like stuff everything in here. All of my toiletries fit every single time and you know I am I'm extra when I travel. Even if it's going to the cottage, I bring everything. Masks, serums, you name it, I brought it. And the great thing is, is that you don't have to struggle through trying to zip it closed because we've all had those moments where it just, it's not gonna zip. And then you have to tie it with a rope or something, I don't know. But this one, you just kind of like cinch it in, super, super easy. It's just going to go to whatever the size of your tallest item is. Tons of space in here. It does have like, 
like some little um, like spaces around the outside with this mesh here that you can like fit stuff in. I typically don't, I just kind of stuff everything in, but then it's all sitting upright and then I can just kind of place it into my bag, which is by the way, a day's bag. You know, the Shea Mitchell brand. I also bought that for a video. I feel like I need to do a whole video on like the best and worst of like overly sponsored products. I feel like we need this in our lives. I feel like I need it in my life. And now I'm gonna take you on a tour of my home. I'm gonna talk about some of the pieces that I use almost every single day, if not every single day. We'll start with the one that I use the most often. And if you don't know, you're not here enough and we need to hang out more. <laughs> all right, we are now downstairs in my little office space because this is where I keep all the things that I'm obsessed with. They're all just staying right here. I didn't even have to grab anything. Oh no, that's a lie. There's one more thing over there. But anyway, here she is everyone. She's beauty and she's great. This is my Ember mug. I'm obsessed with my Ember mug. I love my Ember mug. I have a green tea latte in my Ember mug right now. Why is this mug so awesome? Let me tell you. I'm like a really bad infomercial. <laughs> Here we go. This is a mug that it has this little plate that it sits on to recharge and then it keeps your drink warm to whatever temperature you want if you use the app. I don't personally use the app, I just use the mug itself, um, but it'll keep it warm as you venture around the house. If you're at all like me, you are the type of person that makes yourself a coffee and then sets it down somewhere and then three hours later you're like, oh right, I had a coffee. And then it's cold, disgusting. But this keeps my drink warm and so even if I set it down and I go and do a task, I get distracted, whatever, I will come back and then this is here. And delicious. And I said this last time and I'm standing by it. I got this and loved it so much that Chris, Chris who doesn't buy anything that he feels is too gimmicky, Chris bought himself one. So is it an item that is on the expensive side? Yes, this is a very expensive mug, but it is something that I use on an everyday basis without fail and something that I love and makes a huge impact in like my everyday life. I love hot drinks. So if you know someone, perhaps a mom that is constantly running from task to task and forgets about their coffee and then they're sad with cold coffee, this would be a very appreciated gift as someone who has gifted themselves one. I can say it's amazing. I'm gonna say that from now on. Anytime I buy something for myself, I'm gonna say, yeah, I gifted it. I gifted it to myself. <laughs> Makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, more things. So the other thing you probably noticed is this guy. This is my chirp wheel. I actually tested it as one of the overly sponsored products that you kind of see floating around various ads on Instagram. And this comes in a pack of three different options. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm weirdly trying to highlight my plant. And it's supposed to be for cracking your back. It has a little groove down the middle for your spine and it just like zippers your back if that's something that you struggle with. I have a lot of pain in my spine. I get a lot of like searing pain down my back, which is super uncomfortable and puts me out of commission some days almost entirely. And so this has made a really big impact for me. But this one, the small one in particular, I like to place actually while I'm sitting at my desk here, I'm gonna try and show you, but I like put it basically on the lower part of my back like so. And it just forces me to sit in better posture. And I'll use that and like that little um, timer cube, also another Amazon buy, although I don't know how you would gift it. But I'll use that and I will time myself for 30 minutes and I will sit here and I will try and sit with good posture. And I really love them and they're something that I wouldn't have necessarily splurged on for myself. But again, if you can think of someone who might have some use for it, they're amazing. And then I wanna talk about my to-do lists. As someone who is very type A, I love a good calendar, a good to-do list. I have like a main calendar and then I have a calendar with all my videos that's corresponding to like an editing calendar. Like I have so many, so many calendars. But the one I wanna talk about, I don't know why it's over here today, that's weird. Here it is right here, Bliss Planner. And with this, I also wanna talk about some pens that I've been obsessed with. Again, I'm pretty sure I tested them for a video and I've fallen in love. Can't help it, can't stop, won't stop. So first of all, my calendar, which it seems that Connor has gotten a hold of, as well as a uh, random, what is that, like a pencil grip? Yes, it is. Yeah, well, pencil grip and coloring all over my calendar. Awesome, good job, Connor. <laughs> but these calendars, um, I've talked about them before, these Bliss Planners, there are a bunch of different options that you can get, ones that are really colorful and really pretty, different sizes. I chose ones that were a little bit more clean and straight to the point because I like to have everything listed out for each day of the week. I love that I can use this regardless as to what year it is, it doesn't matter at all. I will be honest, the little inclusion of the self-care element just stresses me out. Should I? Yes. 
Do I in practice? No, I don't. But I like that they do have the three top priorities right here. If I get these three things done, then I can feel good about my week and what I've been able to accomplish. Even if it wasn't everything I wanted to get done, this helps to reframe things for me and I find that to be really important. I put all of my appointments at the bottom and I put all of my to-dos for the day at the top. I can kind of move them over and add arrows if I need to. I have different colors depending on the things that I'm filming or editing or to-do tasks, family-oriented stuff, whatever it is, it all goes on this calendar, I'm obsessed. And then speaking of different colored pens, I use these type of pens so much, I can't even tell you, I'm obsessed. These are the Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. These are amazing. I love how fine the tip is. It is so easy, it just glides onto the paper. It makes everything look really pretty. There are a ton of different colors that it comes in. Oftentimes I'll use like blue for filming and black for appointments and I'll use different colors to talk about like each of the different kids or whatever it is. But um, <laughs> in fact, I'm pretty sure Julia took a bunch of my blue ones because I can't find them anywhere. But I've been using them a ton and it makes this whole process like super fun for me. So anyway, if you're looking for good ones, I really like these. Now walking into my kitchen with my beautiful but now dying flowers that Christopher gave to me and some leftover from lunch. Anyway, this tumbler is another thing that I've used so much in fact, if I called Lo right now and I asked her, what is the number one present I've ever, ever in your whole life given you, it would be that tumbler. I don't know how to explain it and I feel really basic. I don't know, do we still say basic? I don't actually know. But this thing makes me drink water. I will put varying fruits and vegetables, like cucumbers, actually are cucumbers vegetables? No, they're fruit, right? So I guess just fruits, but lemons, cucumbers, I will just do water and ice and it keeps everything nice and cold and I am obsessed with it. It's honestly the only way that I will drink water now, which is pretty embarrassing and also it's the only way I'll remember which glass is mine because this is, this is my tumbler. It's not anyone else's, this is mine. That's it. But I think this is a really fun gift for anyone who's going back to work or just feels that they need to more drink more water in their lives. Whatever the case is, they have a ton of different styles. They're really fun, easy, and they wash well, and I love them. Now moving along to my couch and um, this contraption thing. This neck massager. Okay, so I originally got this and I was like, no, this is stupid. And then I started using it and I was like, oh, I take everything back. Take it all back, it's amazing. Also, hello tiger i feel like she's just like <laughs> being entertained by my filming so you turn it on here you can turn on heat or no heat you can change the rotation of it it changes it every minute or so and these things like dig into your neck or your back wherever you want them so nicely because you can pull them down with these little like arm straps here to really ensure that you're getting like some good pressure and it's absolutely fantastic the make is really nice like it feels really good quality and I would be like happy to give someone this as a gift. It's it's a, an amazing thing. If you are struggling or you have neck pain or you just wanna give someone a gift of just some R&R &R time, something to make them feel better. This is awesome. All right, now we need to talk about my obsession with Aromatech. Like I can't, I can't stop them, I'm obsessed with this stuff. They are Santal. Uh, scent. I got everyone hooked. Myself, obviously, I have it in my home almost constantly. Um, but my sisters-in-law are obsessed with it too. I think Caroline is getting the Santal one for Christmas this year. This is their diffuser, by the way. Also, you, it has like an app and everything. Anyway, you can use whatever diffuser you have. And the Santal one is my absolute favorite. Where is it? Here we go, right here. This smells like an expensive hotel and it just makes me a thousand times more productive with everything that I do in my home. The other scents that I have, I have, oh, Santal Escape. So they have one that they came out with that's sort of like a beach version of Santal. I feel like it smells like, like a really, it's like a really nice cologne kind of a smell. That one I have been using a lot of because I'm sad that it's not summer outside, but. Also, it's almost Christmas, so I'm happy. The other one I have is the Crushed Lime and Mint. Pretty self-explanatory. Coconut and Spice. It, they're all so freaking good, guys. The Coconut and Spice one is a very like Christmas scent to me. This one, it does, but it doesn't smell in that like normal way where it's like cranberries and orange and cinnamon and spices. Like it's, it's 
a little bit more. So coconut spice is just, it's a really incredible scent. But really the only one that I've had that I don't like is that one Zesty Shampaka, I believe it's called. I don't like that one at all. But otherwise, any of the ones that I've tried, I really like. But if you are looking for one in particular, Centol is my number one. And then I have two incredible kids finds. Whether you have little cousins or nieces and nephews or your own children or whoever, these things are so good. I know how difficult it is to buy for kids. Like before I had my own, I was like, I don't know what to get them. So I'm going to help you and this is going to make it so much easier. You're welcome. And do this rapid fire. Here we go. Number one. Paint by sticker. I actually bought one for the kids for Christmas time, um, but these things are incredible because it's literally just, you fill in these little drawings with specific stickers, like this one back here, and it creates an amazing drawing. So I'll show you the one that Julia did for Halloween as an example, and there are all sorts of different ones. So obviously the kids have gone through like most of the drawings for this one, but they have zoo animals, they have um, like unicorns, they have space, they have like a ton of different ones. The kids are getting one each as well. Christmas time of new ones that I found. They're not super expensive. The kids have an amazing time with them. Number two, this book. If you have a kid that loves facts and like did you know stuff, they are going to obsess over this. Luke in particular is in love with it. Like for example, did you know there's a town called Hot Coffee? Because I didn't. It's a true fact. It was in this book. And not only is it a fact book, but it's so well laid out for kids. Not like here's a bunch of facts over and over, but like they have it by different themes and things like that all the way through. And I think that it's just, oh, it's such a good read. Facts about plants, rainforests, outer space, facts having to do with ice. Like it's just, it's so much fun. Luke has a great time reading through this and sharing some interesting did you know facts every single day. Both of them have taken turns going through this so many times it's been like so worth it. I think it was like about $25 or so. And then lastly, this series right here. This is actually well through the series. My mom has been buying Julia these books and we've been like flying through them at bedtime. But the original is Tuesdays at the Castle. So you can go and check that one out. And this series is kind of like Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And I know that's such a classic. And so I don't want to step on any toes if you really like that series but it's about um, just siblings and they are heirs to the throne and Castle Glower is this interesting castle that shifts um, rooms around every Tuesday. But it's such an interesting series that like I get excited to read it with them. So if you haven't already checked this out, I know that sometimes it can be tricky buying books for kids, but this series has been awesome so far. I think they have like four now total. Um, and we're right now only on the second one, we've been reading it like every single night, but this is the third one, so very excited. Oh my goodness, we did it everyone, we made it. Let me know in the comments if you have any of these items or what's something that you're really excited to gift to someone this year, whether it's something you made or something you bought, I would love to know, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you check out these other videos on the side, I'm so excited to be making more Christmas content now for the rest of December, it's gonna be so much fun, so I hope you'll join me. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out new videos here every single Thursday and I will see you all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.